Hi guys, so we're going to imposition a single sided business card today using preps. Uh, the business card size is 90 by 50. One of the standard business card impos we use is a 24 up impo. So um, this is the business card we're going to do. If you measure it, you'll see it is 90 moles wide and 50 moles in height. And you can also see the size in in Brenergy if you click on the pages tab and this will show you the trim size 90 by 50. Okay, so this is the imposition we are going to create. I'll just show you from scratch how to how to create this. So we can just close this one for now. But this is what what we're aiming to do. It's we're going to have these are basically your columns. And then these are your rows, like on an Excel spreadsheet. So we have eight columns here of three, three rows. So that's basically our imposition for this. Okay, so first of all, to start off with, we need the stock. So go to your stock tab here. This is the paper size that it's going to print on. On the iGen that uses mainly 455 by 320 it also uses 660 by 340 but the smaller size that we're going to use today is 455 by 320 so to get your stock just double click on it and then under your press run over here just change this to from sheet wise click on this arrow to single sided because it's a single sided job and then to create your imposition we go in under job create imposition we change this to the size of the document, which is 90 mils wide and 50 mils in, in width. Again, we're going to have eight columns and three rows in those columns. And then the orientation, we're going to move the head right. That's the, the head of the actual document and change it to head to foot. And then just click OK. And then that's your imposition. Because it, it doesn't have any bleed on this on this PDF, I'm going to make it single cuts. That means I have to delete these little crosses in here. So just click on the cross and just click on your delete on your keyboard. And then click on one of the pages. If you're on this black arrow, then click on one of the, the first double cut here. And we're going to just change these all to zero because we just want single cuts and not double cuts in here. I'm just pressing zero and then tab, and then it moves to the next double cut. Okay, so that's our double cut removed. Um, the thing, the impo is still center on the sheet because you can see that these, these um, margins are even. Okay, so we need to add some marks here. So under marks, we only need uh, some crop marks basically to show where it cuts. So I just double click on the crop marks and it puts the crop marks on here. And I need a, a identifier just for to have the job name and job number on the job so that they can find it in the factory. So I just double click on that. Um, the positioning here is wrong. So click on that. Also the size is wrong. So all your properties for your marker on, on this properties tab here. So the size, I just want to be seven seven points and then this is your orientation i want to set it on imposition because i want it underneath the imposition on the bottom left hand corner so the top of the mark so the horizontal um, orientation i just put to 10 so you see that that is 10 moles from that that edge there and then underneath the vertical orientation I wanted to to be minus six about so it's six mils underneath the imposition like there and then I just put put on the CMYK block for for them to it's just a little bit of a registration box so they can check that their registration is in so just double click that and that's the marker I don't want it there because now it's going to print in the job so I just want it um, on the imposition but just on top of the imposition 
by not minus 10, but just 10 moles on top of the imposition. Okay, so that's basically our imposition done now. Now I need to save this imposition in the job. So you just go file, save as. Um, you go into the J drive and the jobs. This is called video tutorials. So I save it under user defined folders in the job. And normally, yeah, you will give it your job number. We'll just use a dummy job number. Eight, 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 and then underscore, and then some, some description of the job. I'll just call it business cards, ninety by fifty, single sided. And then I normally take this and copy this. So. and then save it and then you go control print and you make sure this is on jdf and then in the comment i just go paste <coughs> paste that um, description because whatever you put in the comment here yeah, will be put in this in this identifier uh, under comments so so this is just important to put this in so that this displays on this um, sheet and then you just say print it will actually go to where you saved the the previous the the impa and you just say save and then it creates the jdf file and then you can go back into the job and then on this top window where it says imposition plans you can just right click anywhere in here and say import imposition or you can alternatively go under under file and just say import in position over here and then when it opens this window just click on job folder under user defined folders where we saved it and then you click on the jdf file the .jdf file and just click on import Okay, so the the imposition is imported into your job now. Now to get the PDF onto the imposition, you can either just click on it and drag it onto here. Let me just unassign that quickly. Or you can right click on here and just say assign page to position and just put page page one the the PDF on page one just say okay and then uh, this is basically in position now so now we need to to just send output this to the agent so you click on it yeah and then right click on it and you go under in position output and click on pdf output and then iGen single side choose iGen single sided no blue line. Blue line is the thing that converts bigger impositions into A3. So we don't want that on there. We just want the imposition untouched. So you can click on that and then just say okay. And then basically your file gets sent to the iGen for printing or proofing. And that's basically how you create a 24 up in position for a business card in preps.